low SGD sacred geometry decoded and let's ask the question will we become a lost advanced civilization so uh, what if a cataclysm sent us back to the stone age now what I see in many comment section is oh but the lost um, civilization was wiped away and that's why there's no evidence for that um, anymore because for instance iron will rust and these type of things and that's why the advanced machinery of the past does not exist anymore well would our advanced civilization be lost to history the short answer is no so let's begin with power lines for instance uh, steel and iron it does rust but iron does not disappear iron is an element iron lasts forever or you need some sort of nuclear furnace to convert it into some sort of other um, element so iron ox rust is iron oxide it's iron that's attached to oxygen iron oxide it still contains iron it's still magnetic and could still be detected and picked up so in the future if we were all to disappear and all the the, pow the power lines were to rust the the map of our power lines will remain forever or until there's massive geology you know that literally that the con continental plate is pushed down back into the uh mantle now usually with well with power lines now more and more aluminium but the steel is of power lines is not what tr transmits the electricity it's copper and copper is everywhere in our civilization uh, the steel is in the power lines really just there for strength now they'll use either aluminium or copper to transmit it and copper will last forever uh, it will oxidize on the outside but it still will remain copper and just like a gold when they find the gold nugget when the miners go out this nugget is millions of years old it's it the gold and, and silver and, and the metals that we find in the ground now you don't find copper nuggets but maybe here or there among some rare plate but that that's even more telling because the presence of high concentrations of pure copper will last forever it's an element it's it does not it's, iron does not just magically disappear when when things rust and neither does the copper so there will be steel and copper traces uh, maps literal maps will stretch across the globe and even if one part of the world gets buried under hundreds of meters for some reason or if one part of the continent gets pushed uh, underneath the oceanic plates there will be evidence everywhere of of our presence not just evidence of our presence there'll be literal maps of our pre presence copper will last forever gold silver tin lead and other heavy metals of our civilization would last forever but even just gold silver copper tin on its own uh, national power grids will last for uh, essentially eternity or at least till the continental plates swallows them up back into the earth our cities will be mapped and in the future millions of years in the future the copper the iron the aluminium will leave maps of our they will not only know there was a city there they'll be able to map those cities out what did i do there typo anyway all right so uh e-waste so the heavy metals the, the gold the silver and all the other heavy metals in our e-waste will forever last but let's assume that um, nuclear waste is a side note really to all of this iron gold copper silver tin lead concentrations they will never go away they their elements they last forever unless again there's some sort of nuclear furnace um, that breaks them down into, and converts them into some sort of other uh, heavier element In the Greenland ice cores, we can see and trace the rise and the fall of the Roman Empire because of the pollution of just and compared to a, a global advanced civilization. The Roman Empire was producing uh, because of their copper mines. Now, when you get the um, copper and the other ores, is like typically connected with lead or silver, but just the in the Greenland ice cores we can see the rise and the fall of the Roman Empire with the 
uh, Justinian plague. And it's preserved in the ice core. So if it was a, let's say 10,000 years ago, there was a global advanced civilization, uh, they weren't using, uh, producing metals on a, on a scale even comparable to Rome. And so compared to us, and Rome was a, you know, confined to the Mediterranean. The, the evidence will will remain there forever. Now, there have also been studies in places like South America looking at the peat bogs to see the traces of when large scale or the largest largest scale the largest scale of metalwork was done, and that's preserved there in um, peat bogs and and ice cores as well. So. Because I often see, ah, oh, but the global lost advanced civilization, you know, was wiped out by a cataclysm, and you know it all got buried, wiped, and it was forgotten, and then we had to rebuild. Um, Stone Age tools survive; no advance other trace is is found, and it, and whether it's copper, iron, gold, silver, or tin, they will last forever, and the traces for mining and for in, and producing these things will be left in the ice cores uh, and peat bogs and, and other deposits as well. And we can trace the rise of some large-scale civilizations such as Rome through their pollution because if you're going to produce any sort of metal on any scale you're going to produce pollution and that simply does not exist. So we will never be a lost civilization our presence it will be here for millions if not billions of years and our maps of our cities and our power grids will be there to for any future advanced people you know, just using metal detectors and, and uh, other techniques we will be here forever and we will never be we might be forgotten names and histories and so forth but our presence of advanced technical technological civilization will never go away and that's just because copper gold silver tin iron are elements and they they are eternal until again like it's what uh, until it becomes stardust again and um, even then it gets heavier rather than lighter so will we ever be lost well we might be partially forgotten and, and the smaller details minutiae of our life but our presence will never ever 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 be forgotten until essentially till the complete continental plates are completely gone and, and swallowed up underneath and so yeah no we, we won't be and um, so if there was a lost advanced civilization in the past they weren't using um, creating metal on any sort of scale uh, again, even the Romans, their presence is stored in history. The uh, production of metals in South America and other parts of the world are preserved in in history. And so, let's see, I'll link this video. Um, great channel, Dr. Ryle McLaughlin. He specialises in uh, Roman trade beyond the frontiers, and so like communication from you know China to Rome and and to other places as well. But that's what the evidence is saying, and you know, uh, you've got to go with the. If there's no evidence, what can you do? Cheers.